In this video, we'll look at the atomic number, protons, neutrons, electrons, and mass number for SR. That's strontium. So the first thing is strontium has four naturally occurring isotopes. So these are the isotopes of strontium. They differ only in their number of neutrons. We'll talk about that in a minute though. So first off, we want to find the atomic number. This number right here, that's the atomic number for strontium. So we just write 38 in for all of these because 38, that's what makes it strontium. That's its identity. Or the atomic number, the atomic number is equal to the number of protons. So we can just write 38 in for all of these. So strontium, atomic number is 38, number of protons, 38 as well. Let's skip the neutrons. Let's look at the electrons. So when we look at strontium on the periodic table, all the elements on the periodic table, they're neutral. There's no negative or positive sign after them. They're considered neutral elements. And in a neutral element, like strontium here on the periodic table, number of protons, that equals the number of electrons. So we can just put 38 in here for all of the electrons for strontium. So when we talk about isotopes, these isotopes here, the only thing that's different, that's gonna be the number of neutrons and then the mass number. So for the mass number, this right here tells us the mass number. So we can write in the mass number for all of these here. That's listed in the name. That's the notation we use for the isotopes. To find the neutrons, we know the mass number is equal to protons plus neutrons. So we have 38 protons, 38 plus 50, that gives us the 88. So we know we have 50 neutrons. And likewise, we can find the number of neutrons for each of these as well, based on the mass number. 87 minus 38, that's 49 and so on. So most of the time when you do these charts, they'll give you either the mass number or the neutrons. You won't have to really worry about isotopes. If they don't give you the mass number or neutrons, the way you can figure the mass number out is when we look at isotopes, the most common one here is strontium 88, something like 82% of strontium. If you have a sample, those atoms will be this isotope. So if you look at the number here, this is the average atomic mass. It's an average of all these isotopes weighted by their abundance. So the more abundant ones figure more into the average. 87.62. So if you're not given the neutrons or the mass number, you can round this to 88, which would be the most common isotope of strontium. This is Dr. B finding the number of protons, neutrons, electrons, and the mass number for strontium, SR. Thanks for watching.